VR Chat, how to upload an avatar for Quest. This video picks up where my last video left off. I recommend checking out that video first. Currently, I have only uploaded the PC version of this avatar. Quest users will not be able to see it. To make a Quest avatar, you will have to switch the Unity build from Windows to Android. To do this, in the VRChat SDK under the Builder tab, click the Switch Build Target to Android button. It's always a good idea to duplicate your project so you have a backup in case anything goes horribly wrong during the switch. For this example, I left the original non-VRChat shaders on the avatar. We have a new list of errors, one for each material with a non-Quest compatible shader on it. VRChat will only allow its own mobile shaders to be used on the Quest avatar. Select one of the meshes under mesh underscore root, then in the inspector, right click on the shader component and select select material. The project folder has now navigated to the materials folder. Select all of the materials, and in the inspector, click the shader drop down and select VRChat mobile tunelet. Most of the model looks good now, except for the blocky cheeks and the hulky green eyes. In the PC version, I changed the eyes and the cheeks to a VRChat particle shader to give the desired look. However, when I do that for the Quest version, it does not give the desired look. VRChat mobile shaders don't support transparencies, and the eyes and cheeks use them in the original setup. To work around this, I change the textures that are being used in the materials. For the eyes, select the eye material, and in the inspector, select the texture of the eye. This will select the eye texture in the project window. Duplicate the eye texture by pressing Ctrl D. Drag the duplicated texture into a folder for easy access. Now you can open the texture with your choice of image editing program. I use GIMP. I'm not going to go over the details, but basically I'm replacing the transparent background with a solid white one and exporting it as a PNG. Once the texture is exported, drag it back to the texture folder in Unity. Find the corresponding eye material left or right and drag the new texture into the material. Repeat this step for the other eye. The cheeks have two options, the easy option and the more involved one. The easy option is to delete the cheeks entirely. To do this, right click Unity Chan in the hierarchy, select Unpack Prefab Completely. Under Mesh underscore Root, select Cheek and delete it. The more involved option requires taking the face texture and the cheek texture from the texture folder and like the eye textures, editing the face texture to have the cheek texture built right into it. This will produce okay results. And that's it. The avatar is ready for upload. Because this is the same avatar, it is the same blueprint ID. VRChat knows this is the Quest version of the PC avatar I uploaded in the last video. Thanks for watching.